Welcome back guys, it's time for November and December in my road to glory with Nottingham Forest. Two months in one episode, so we've got a lot of games to get through. At the moment we are in second place, one point behind Leeds, level with Newcastle and just one point above Derby County. So things are a little bit tight right now and we go into a pretty tough game. We've got QPR straight away who obviously recently in the Premier League, although yeah, it's not quite the same team as they once had, but it, they're still a good team, there's no doubt about it. And we get off to a fantastic start here, conceding within the first five minutes. Just look at this incredible defending on display, guys. That was embarrassing. I thought he was going to go the other, other way. And as you know, my defending's pretty manual. So sometimes I just do stupid things. But either way, I thought I got back into the game here with Abraham. Very, very close. Saved onto the post there. And then we get another chance for Abraham. And how many times... Has this happened now where I've got a header from a couple of yards out and it's just missed. So I might need to train his heading accuracy because it's pretty poor right now. Uh, QPR almost make it 2-0 here. 69 minutes in. Very close to, uh, to going into that top left corner. And then the magic appeared, guys. Now this is absolutely stunning. Just watch this. Nice pass inside here to McCormack who found no space to run into. Gives it back to Tishibola and he just has a smack. And look at that. Right into the top right corner. Are we looking at goal of the month in November? You will soon find out. It's pretty hard to beat goals like this where you have no other option but to shoot and it finds its way into the back of the net. Look at the power behind it. Again, he is just on loan. It's a little bit disappointing because I really, really like him. So maybe we could potentially sign him next season once he goes back. So uh, we go into our youth academy system here and we've picked ourselves up a really, really nice young player here. Fernando Pachecho, I think his name is, or Pacecho. I'm really not sure how to pronounce that. And as usual, we don't get too many at the start here with England, but look at these three here. We've got Bennett, Allen and Baker, three very good players. So that's four new young players into my youth academy squad. And they will be, uh, we'll, we'll be looking at them over the next few weeks, see how they progress. But at the moment, they've all got very, very nice potential. And uh, yeah, we do actually get some good news here. Geraldes, or Geraldes, sorry, I always call him Geraldes. His name is actually Geraldes. I have confirmed it with a Portuguese friend of mine. And uh, he's back from injury about time, eh? It's taken three months for him to get back. And uh, as soon as cash starts to grow, look at that, he's up to 66 now. Geraldes comes back in, so Cash can drop down to that right centre mid position, um, and he's looking really good there. And Geraldes, Geraldes, not Geraldes, um, will slot back in at Cam in the second half of this game. He wasn't quite fully fit, so I did want to risk him. But anyway, up against Ipswich, off, off to a great start. Tammy Abraham, what a finish with his left foot, his weaker foot. He just takes one touch and he smacks it into that bottom right corner. Keeper has absolutely no chance. It's another assist there for Texera. I think he's top assister for us right now. And here's Tishibola looking to get another goal in this game. Unfortunately, it's saved, parried out, and no one was there to finish off the rebound. That would have been a perfect way to go in at half-time, 2-0 up, but it wasn't to be. I was looking for that second goal in the second half now, and it does finally come, and it's Cash. He is looking like a really promising player. I really like him in that centre midfield, midfield position. He does tend to get forward although he was actually playing Cam in this match because obviously Geraldes wasn't in the, the starting lineup. So 2-0, looking good to, to win this game and get the three points. Looking for another goal here. We cross it in, and again, we just can't quite pop it into the back of the net. And we get some bad news, guys. We get yet another injury, this time to our star striker, Abraham, and it's not good news. You will see how long he's going to be out for in a couple of minutes, but... Now it was time to bring on a new striker and Geraldes comes in at Cam. So he had full fitness when I subbed him on. It doesn't make sense. Before the game, he had about three quarters and still had the injury icon next to him. So yeah, I didn't want to risk it. And look at that, by the way, six shots to none. We were completely destroying Ipswich in this game. And uh, here is Geraldes' first uh, bit, of, bit of the game, I guess. And unfortunately, it wasn't a great pass, but he only got about 15 minutes. Now we're going to find out how bad this injury really is. It's eight weeks, two months out without uh, Abraham, our top scorer. So unfortunately, it's another pretty nasty injury, but it could have been a lot worse, guys. It could have been a lot worse, and he will be back in time for the end of the January transfer window, hopefully. So yeah, we'll look forward to that. Now, Barnsley into the next game away from home at Ivy Lane. One of my... Oh, I just hate this. I hate this stadium so much. I hate the shadows on it. It really bugs me. Just look at it. Why would you want a pitch with shadows all over it like that? To be honest, the stadium I'm using isn't great either. 
uh, the Forest Park Stadium isn't the best. It's got a couple of shadows on there. I just really like a pitch without any shadows. It's just easier to see the ball and all the players. But either way, we were playing quite well in this game. Geraldes made a start for the first time in three months. Very close to scoring there with his weaker left foot. Um, his long shots are really, really impressive, by the way. But one thing that's not so impressive, as you can see here, he's not the quickest, but his acceleration isn't bad. He manages to win the ball back here, and then he gets fouled on the edge of the box, which was a yellow card. And we get the free kick, of course. We're going to pass it short to Osborne. Poor shot. He has been doing a lot better than that recently, scoring a few long shots, but it wasn't to be there. Now, Geraldes puts it out on the left wing here for Clough. He's going to try and find a teammate. We're going to pass it inside. I'm going to try the flick, which didn't quite work out. But we're going to get the ball back here with Correo. He's going to pass it back to Clough. And that is an absolutely fantastic goal. Really, really nice finish. We have another contender for November goal of the month. You will soon find out what it's going to be. Is it that shot or is it Tishibola? There could be more goals, though. Let's see what happens here. So out on the left wing with three minutes left. It's Correo playing on that left side in as a sub and unfortunately couldn't quite squeeze it in that would have been another really nice goal but we still get the three points guys and we'll go into training we've still got one more game in November to get through and now Van Dronglen he's up to 70 rated he's turned out to be a really nice investment really really good center back and Worrell's catching up with him as well and now we move into a huge game against what well, I would say the favorites for the championship we have Newcastle United Obviously, they've just been relegated to the championship and they've still held most of their good players, I would say. And we get off to a really nice quick start here with a chance with Geraldes, which unfortunately does get saved. And then this happens from the corner. We get hit on the counter-attack. Diame puts it through for Ayozo Perez and he is quick. You're just not going to catch him. And uh, have a look at this for a finish as well. Just dinks it over H um, Henderson there. It's a very nice finish. What can I say? Just take a look at the replay. It's just a very slight dink. Just lifts it over the keeper. And all I could do was watch that go in. Nothing I can do about that. I was way too attacking. And uh, we got hit on the counter. Now, Geraldes off the bar. That would have been some first goal for the club. It would have been absolutely amazing to get us in at one or at the break. But unfortunately, the woodwork stops it from going in. And now we're going to get another chance in the 55th minute, we're going to pass this across to Texera, who's not the quickest, as you guys know. So we're going to cut back and we're going to find Osborne on the left side and have a look at this for a lovely cross. Just whips it in and then McCormack is there playing up front instead of Abraham, of course. McCormack is on loan as well from Aston Villa, so he will be going at the end of the season, which is a bit of a shame. But we couldn't hold on, guys. I was going for that draw. Newcastle were dominating this game pretty much and they did get the winning goal with just minutes to spare. So once again, we do lose in the last few minutes of a game. It really sucks. But here is goal of the month for November. It had to be Tishibola. That is a fantastic strike from a defensive midfielder to get all of that power and to still get the accuracy into that top right corner. Keeper has no chance and that had to be the winner for me. It was a close one though. It really was. Clough was a very good strike as well. Very good goal. But now into December, the final month before the transfer window opens. And we've got Derby County up first. And that was a very lucky deflection. That was going in the top right corner if it wasn't for my left back just getting in the way. We get a chance here with minutes to go in the first half. But unfortunately, it was offside. So not the most exciting first half of all time. But we do get a short, free, a short corner taken here. Clough whips it in for Geraldes. His first goal for the club. Fantastic header. Powerful header into that top left corner where, again, the keeper just isn't reaching it. And that is contender for goal of the month for December already. Can he get another one? No, he can't. Carson, the experienced keeper, parries that one away. And that was the end of the game. It was a boring game. I'm not going to lie, but we scored a really nice goal there. And we're going to go back into some training. And now Cash is 67 rated. Despite, it, despite getting Fs there in his uh, Beat Your Man and El Rondo, he still managed to grow there. We're going to go into our first simulation game in the league. We've got Preston. They are second from bottom. And I saw that obviously we were at home. It made sense to get one of the games out of the way. There's so many fixtures and we do get the win, although Osborne picked up. I think it was a five day injury, so luckily nothing too serious. And now we go into another game. We've got Wolves, another contender for a career mode at some point. I absolutely love uh, the Wolves badge. I love the players they've got. Some really great young players in their team. And look at this for a start. They hit the bar. It comes out here to Mason and Henderson. What a save. You should pat yourself on the back for that one. 
Should have easily been 1-0 down. And I was worried. Wolves were looking really, really good. And by the way, what a kit. I absolutely love that green kit. And I really should have squared it there. Easy save for the keeper. I should have passed it across and got a little bit sweaty. So unfortunately, we went at the break 0-0. And in the second half, I knew I had to score. Otherwise, I was going to lose this game. Because Wolves were really dominating me. Getting lots of chances. And they were going to score at some point. And here comes a fantastic chance for them. Passes it through here. But again, another save by Henderson. I hadn't had a single chance in the second half up until this point. Are we going to get one more chance? No, we're not. They're going to score with just seven minutes to go. At this point, I just thought, wow, my, my confidence had gone. I thought we're going to lose another game in the league. And they had another chance. They get the cross in here. It's a really nice cross. But luckily, Worrell's there to try and get it out, which didn't quite work out. We actually give away the ball here with minutes to go. And they almost made it 2-0, which would have been a really bad result. But eventually we do drop the three points, losing 1-0 to Wolves. They probably deserved it, to be honest. Um, but good news, Worrell is now up to 70 rated. So both our centre-backs are 70 rated. That's fantastic news. And now we're going to go into the last game of December. We've got Huddersfield away from home. They were third bottom in the league. And I thought, you know what, we've won a lot of games. We lost the last one, but I'm going to try my luck after playing very badly. We do get the 1-0 win. And we get some good news. Tixira has said he wants to stay despite not liking the country and the food and all that shit. He's happy to stay, which is really good news. So let's take a look at the table. We have climbed up to first place on, on level points with Newcastle. So we're winning on goal difference at the moment, which is a little bit worrying. We've got Barnsley, Huddersfield and Preston down in that bottom three. So it wasn't looking too good for those three clubs at the moment, especially Barnsley. Um, but we're looking good, guys. Wolves are up into sixth now. Of course, Newcastle in second. Leeds, Aston Villa and Sheffield Wednesday are the other teams in the top six. But now, obviously, the part you've been waiting for, we've got goal of the month for, set, uh, for December, sorry. And there's only one goal. It had to be Geraldes. Obviously, we simmed two games and we didn't score in two others. This was the only goal we scored in December um, that actually I've got on camera, if that makes sense. And it was Geraldo's header. And to be honest, I think this would have won anyway. It's a lovely cross and a really nice, powerful header. And I'm so glad he's back from injury. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Live commentary comes back tomorrow for the January transfer window. And I will see you then.